Welcome to Trending Places. Today we will talk about history of Flatiron Building. The Flatiron Building is a landmark in the Flatiron District of Manhattan, New York City. It is located at 175 Fifth Avenue. It's a triangular steel framed building with 22 stories and a height of 285 feet that's considered a revolutionary skyscraper. The Fuller Building was previously known as the Flatiron Building, and it was named after George A. Fuller, an architect who is often acknowledged as the creator of contemporary skyscrapers and the modern contracting system. Daniel Burnham and Frederick Dinkelberg designed this structure. Its construction was completed in 1902, and it was one of the city's highest structures at the time. It was the most well-known steel skyscraper in the United States at the time. It is well known for its triangular structural design, which also gave the structure its name. The building's 87 feet back end is positioned on a triangular block created by 5th Avenue, Broadway, and East 22nd Street, with East 23rd Street touching the triangle's northern peak. The name, flat iron, comes from its resemblance to a cast iron clothes iron, as it does with many other wedge-shaped structures. The structure serves as a focal point for both the south and north ends of Madison Square and the Ladies Mile Historic District. The Flatiron District is named after the neighborhood's iconic building, which has become a New York City symbol. In 1966, the structure was classified as a New York City landmark. In 1979, it was listed on the National Register of Historic Places, and in 1989, it was designated as a National Historic Landmark. Here are some interesting facts about Flatiron. The structure was completed in one year because to the steel skeletal system which allowed the prefabricated and pre-cut members to be joined swiftly on site. The construction began in 1901, with each story taking only a week to build, and the skeletal system was completed by February of the following year. The facade and interiors required another five months to complete. During its construction, it received a lot of flack. Burnham's Folly, called after the building's architect, Daniel Burnham, was a popular nickname. Many people also believed the building would collapse due to the wind stack, despite the fact that it was meant to withstand four times the wind load. The land on which the building stands is a right angle triangle, not an isosceles triangle, as is commonly assumed. The building is barely 6.5 feet wide at its narrowest point. The inside is significantly unique from the outside due to its odd shape. The structure contains oddly planned office areas and is frequently strangely lit. Rooms that are shaped in the event of an emergency, it also features a single staircase. The building's basic interiors, with freezers, stand in stark contrast to its ornate facade. Along the upper floor, there are columns and even gargoyles. The Flatiron Building's original elevators were Otis water hydraulic elevators that were driven by pressure and had extremely sluggish travel times as well as frequent floods. 
It was surprised to have so many female visitors. But there were no women's restrooms in the facility. Later, the building's administration arranged for women's bathrooms on odd numbered floors, while men's bathrooms are on even numbered floors. Keep watching all our videos. Hope you like the video. We have more than 150 videos on trending places. Do like and subscribe. Keep watching.